Hi, come cook with me because I'm Stella V. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious lasagna in just under an hour. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you. Today we're making lasagna. We're using the Instant Pot, and the ingredients I have in front of me is all you're going to need. Along with the Instant Pot, we'll need a few pieces of basic equipment. I'm using a 7-inch springform pan, and the springform has the lifting bottom for easy removal. A 7-inch fits perfectly in a 6-quart Instant Pot. You'll also need a trivet. I'm using a low-profile silicone trivet, but if you don't have one, a simple scrunched-up piece of aluminum foil will work just as well. And lastly, you'll also need a sling. Now, I happen to have a silicone turkey lifter, which works really well. But again, if you don't have that, I can show you how to make a sling out of aluminum foil. I've simply folded it in thirds, and you just need it long enough to wrap the pan, put it underneath, so that you can easily lift it out of the Instant Pot. And now we're ready to start. We're going to begin by pressing the saute button on the Instant Pot. The beauty of this is that you can do everything in the one pot, including browning our meat, which is what we'll be doing now. We're going to be using ground beef, but you can also use ground sausage, hot sausage, whatever meat you like to add to your lasagna. So we're going to start with browning the meat. I've simply turned the saute button on. And the beauty of the Instant Pot is that you can do everything in the one pot. I've added a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom, and now I'll be adding the ground beef. You can hear that sizzle. I've added the ground beef to the Instant Pot on the saute function, and it's just going to take a little while to brown. I use a flat wooden spoon, and that way it makes it much easier to just chop up the pieces into small pieces. Next, I'm adding half a diced onion. We'll let that onion cook for a few minutes. Two or three minutes should do it. Time to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of minced garlic. And about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. It smells delicious. We finish with the ground beef and it's ready to come out of the pot. I'm turning it back to cancel. Remove all of the ground meat with a slotted spoon. Las lasagna is so delicious because there are so many layers of flavor. And what we're doing now are building the layers. We've got our ground meat. Any tomato sauce works. Just choose one that you like, and it could be store-bought, no judgment. Just make sure it's a good quality tomato sauce. Another important layer is the ricotta cheese. I have about two cups of ricotta cheese, and it's a nice firm one. If your ricotta is a bit watery, you can always drain it through a coffee filter. I'll be adding one egg. some Italian seasoning, and this is a really good tip. Anytime you're using ricotta as a filling, I always add just a touch of nutmeg. And I like to use whole nutmeg and freshly grate some into the ricotta. It just adds such a nice little bit that 
people will wonder what is that delicious little taste. The best way to blend all this is with a simple fork. Now that we have all of our layers, we have our ground meat, we have our tomato sauce, we have our ricotta, and we have two cups of shredded mozzarella. Now it's time to assemble our layers of delicious lasagna. I've started by adding about a quarter cup of the tomato sauce to the bottom of the pan. We're going to be using oven ready dried sheets of lasagna and it's really important to make them oven ready. If you're not using the oven ready, then you will have to boil your noodles ahead of time, but this is so much easier. I totally recommend this, this way. As we layer, we're going to have to cut the pieces to fit the pan, and you don't have to be exact about it as long as you have enough coverage. And I make sure that the layer is covered by a noodle. Next, we're going to be adding that delicious ricotta cheese. Next, I'm going to be adding some more tomato sauce on the second layer. And on top, we're going to add some of that wonderful ground beef. I've evenly spread a layer of that ground beef and onion mixture. Next, we're going to be adding that delicious ricotta cheese on top of the meat. And there's the ricotta cheese. To that, I will be adding some of the shredded mozzarella. And for extra flavor, just a sprinkling of grated Parmesan cheese. And now we're ready to repeat all over again. A layer of the tomato sauce, another layer of the lasagna sheets, Just continue to build, and the second layer starts again with the tomato mixture. Ready for another layer of the ground beef and onion mixture. You can see how this is building up to that nice, wonderful height, and the reason you need a very tall, deep springform pan. Ready for the ricotta cheese mixture? and that freshly grated mozzarella cheese on top of that. A sprinkling of Parmesan. And I have a little sauce left over, so I don't want to waste that. I'm just going to dollop it on top. And that's all there is to it. We've got a beautifully layered lasagna. Each layer has added so much flavor. And now we're ready to prepare it for the Instant Pot. I've added two cups of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot. And it'll be really important to make sure you scrape any of the brown bits that might be attached to the bottom of the pot. pot because we don't want to burn notice. I'm adding the trivet. And now we're just going to prepare we're now preparing our lasagna for the Instant Pot, and that involves covering it completely in foil. It's easiest if you place it right on the aluminum foil and then just cover it twice. Make sure it's well sealed. To give it extra insurance with a second layer.
And now we're ready. We have the water at the bottom of the pot. We have the trivet. We're putting the sling in. And gently placing that beautiful lasagna right into the instant pot. And it's so important to have the sling handle above the pot. And now all the hard work's done. All we have to do is add the lid, make sure the knob is to the ceiling position, wherever that may be on your pot. There are different models and it might be slightly different, but make sure it's on ceiling. And now we're ready to set the pressure. It's going to be on high pressure for 27 minutes. Pot has counted down 27 minutes on high pressure, and now it's going to be counting up 10 minutes because we're going to be doing a 10 minute natural release. And now the counter has reached 10, and that meant 10 minutes of natural release. So now we're ready to finish off the process by letting out any remaining steam, and we'll turn that knob from ceiling to vent. And now, as you can see, there's no steam left in the pot. Safe to turn the lid over and off. And now we really appreciate that sling because it makes lifting the lasagna out a simple, simple process. There will be some condensation, so you want to have a paper towel handy and just soak up any moisture that's sitting on top of the foil. And now we're ready. you have set, and we're just going to take a knife, just run it around the outside edge, just to make sure there's no cheese or other components sticking to the edge. And now we should be ready to push that right up. And there you have it, a wonderful, about a three inch high lasagna, layers and layers of delicious flavor, and it's ready to be served. As you can see, we've lifted a slice out. It looks absolutely delicious. And if you're planning this for company, you can even make this a few days ahead, keep it in the fridge, and then just pop it out to serve. Reheating is simple. You can either heat it up in the microwave or take the entire container, heat it in the oven, and wait until it cools and sets before serving. This would be delicious served with a simple salad and some crusty bread. Delicious lasagna, good enough for company in an hour. Leave me a note telling me that you subscribed and come cook with me because I'm Stella V.